John Lipsky, former Deputy Managing Director of the IMF and a big viewer and I think agent in the whole economic scene, the Peterson Center at the moment. Um, what is your view of the impact of the Trump presidency on the world of economics? I'm thinking in terms of currency exchanges, protectionism, and so on. Uh, well, the easy answer is it's too soon to tell. First of all, it, for one thing, uh, I'm not, not sure everybody recognizes the current U U.S. economic expansion is currently the third longest in U.S. history. And consent if consensus views are close to right, that there's not going to be a recession in the near term, for sure it is going to be at least the second longest expansion in U.S. history. So the, despite the grumbles about relatively slow growth, about falling labor force participation, about slow wage growth, about inequality, uh, the economy continues to move ahead. The unemployment rate is the lowest now since the 90s and could go lower. The uh, asset values, the stock market at record highs. So uh, this is so a... So Trump's own appeal to you know, those left behind, I put it in, in inverted commas, was actually fake news. Well, during the campaign, or, or as a real issue? No, I think there's a, I think there is a sense of a real issue, and uh, certain areas have been uh, have been much slower to recover. Uh, manufacturing jobs are now recovering, but they're far below where they were. Uh, certainly, there are issues that explain the appeal of uh, of the Trump candidacy, but also, and I think particularly, a sense of immobility in Washington to deal with issues that are widely recognized as necessary uh, for one tax reform. There has been for decades a consensus that tax reform is needed. An obvious need to, re to reform our immigration policies and put some order into something that is incoherent. Third, that the uh, clearly the long-term U.S. fiscal uh, picture is clouded by entitlements that have to be addressed. And among that, I think there was a consensus that the, uh, the health care initiative under President Obama, so-called Obamacare, may have dealt with one problem with this univers universality of coverage, but certainly has not dealt in a meaningful way with the very structure of health care and its linkage to the long-term problem of entitlement. So, yeah, I, I mean, I take your point, but um, if you look at it from an ex, from abroad, yes, and you think of America withdrawing from the TPP, um, uh, if yes. you think of uh, you know, NAFTA being described as one of the worst deals, blah blah blah, NAFTA being renegotiated, um, I mean, the, the prospect of a protectionist America uh, gets on the horizon. Well, it's certainly concerning. So the rhetoric. Uh, could leave rise to some uh, uh, some deep concerns. Uh, similarly, stylistically, uh, we're dealing with a presidency that seems unlike uh, any other in the in the past. At the same time, we have to wait and see what actually transpires. Uh, first of all, on on trade, let's continue there. Both candidates were said they were against the TPP. Very disturbing. Although you had the feeling that Hillary was sort of forced well, into that by. Well, she also described NAFTA as having been a big mistake. <laughs> one that I thought was her husband's profile and courage, frankly, and one of his great few legislative successes. So th this has been a concern that's more broad and hasn't just started. That this skepticism about trade policy, the inability of the U.S. To, uh, frankly, it was the Obama administration that said, let's get, let's get real and f stop saying we're in favor of the Doha round. Yeah, that, well. that was done previously. So this is not brand new right. with Donald Trump, I'm sorry to say, but it's, it's of concern. Now let's see what happens. My guess is as NAFTA gets real, as these negotiations gets real, I would be shocked if we don't see a very strong response on the part of the business community to say, hey, wait a minute, all this blah, blah, blah is just well and good, but let's, when you're coming down to facts, let's face it, NAFTA, there's great interest in preserving NAFTA. 
on the part of the American, American businesses that have profited from this. Uh, and similarly, trade in, with the Pacific is of crucial importance. So it's one thing to back away from TPP, but... And threaten the Korean uh, free trade. And threaten the... But my guess, once again, as these things get real, uh, the, hopefully there's a greater sense of realism on the part of the, of the administration. Keep our fingers crossed. Let's keep our fingers crossed. John Lipsky, thank you so much. Thank you. You're very welcome.